is Pizza Dude Man Guy. Although it's a couple months late, I finally finished uploading my Smash Ultimate World of Light playthrough on the channel, so I wanted to do a moveset video for my most wanted, non-playable character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And, well, it feels weird saying this, but it's Waluigi. After years of me saying in my old speculation videos that there were bigger characters to add, I think we've reached the point where Waluigi is one of the most prominent Nintendo characters left. As a quick recap to any new viewers, this is not a statement that I think Waluigi will be a DLC character in Smash Ultimate. We don't know if assist trophies can be upgraded in the same game where they're already an assist trophy. These are just my own ideas for fun on what Waluigi could be like if he were playable in Super Smash Bros. Here's character number three, Waluigi. Waluigi for Smash! Waluigi is Wario's something, we don't really know. Brother? Friend? Whatever he is, he's Wario's partner in the many Mario sports games. Since his initial appearance in Mario Tennis, he's become a series regular, being a main character in nearly every Mario sports game, Mario Kart, Mario Party, and more. And given the sheer number of these games and how iconic they are to Nintendo multiplayer experiences, Waluigi may easily be one of the most recognizable characters to not already be playable in Super Smash Bros. Now, often when I see a fan-made Waluigi moveset, they incorporate abilities from all of Waluigi's appearances, which I generally like. I mean, that's how Mario's built, his attacks come from lots of different games, not just one. However, since Waluigi has only been utilized in the spin-off Mario games, most of these abilities are usable by just about any Mario character. Sure, I could present a Waluigi moveset that uses golf, tennis, baseball, soccer, dice blocks, a go-kart, but what would stop me from making the exact same moveset for, say, Toadette, or an alternative Mario? I don't necessarily agree with that standpoint, but it's an accusation brought up against Waluigi that he doesn't have something unique to offer, and I do want to make a moveset for Waluigi that feels special to Waluigi. To be honest, I think a lot of people will really like my moveset, and a lot of people will really hate my moveset. I've decided to base the vast majority of Waluigi's attacks and fighting style on... Tennis. Waluigi was originally created in Mario Tennis for Mario Tennis, so I think he, more than any other Mario character, makes the most sense to be THE Mario character to represent all of the moves and abilities throughout the Mario Tennis series, and that might be more than you'd initially think. Mario Tennis is the largest of the Mario Sports series, spawning a new title on every home Nintendo console since Nintendo 64, and each installment introduces new shots and special moves. People even joked about how Mario Tennis Aces, the newest entry, felt more like a fighting game than a traditional sports game. Waluigi is built to be a tennis player, like literally, he was made for tennis. And in the Mario Tennis games, he's often one of the game's few defensive characters, characters that specialize in returning the ball. I think having a moveset based on tennis can be Waluigi's unique thing that makes him stand out. Because of this, I decided to go with Waluigi's outfit from Mario Tennis Aces for his default look, with his traditional attire as an alternative. Although he is a Mario character, I thought this might also give him a small bit of attachment to Wario, who has a similar costuming theme. Plus, given that Aces Mario and Aces Luigi are spirits in Ultimate, maybe a visually distinct Waluigi like this wouldn't be so strange alongside the Waluigi Assist Trophy? There are plenty of games to use as references for Waluigi's basic animations like running and jumping, but since I'm going almost all tennis, I think he should use his defensive stance from the recent Mario Tennis games as his main standing animation, jeering out and taunting as he remains idle. My only other special request is that his dodges take the appearance of the moonwalk from Mario Tennis Aces. This maneuver returns in Super Mario Party, so I think it's just one of Waluigi's things now, and I wanted to put it somewhere. Let's take a look at the rest of the moveset. Since I'm basing most of Waluigi's attacks on tennis, his moveset might seem basic, like how Zero Suit Samus' attacks are pretty much all variants of kick, gun, and whip. But trust me, it'll all come together when we get to the special moves. For low attacks, I'm also incorporating some kicks into the moveset, making use of Waluigi's long, spindly legs. 
In fact, for Waluigi's neutral attack, I decided to go with the stomp combo we've seen from Waluigi in Super Smash Bros. thus far, a sequence of four one-legged stomps that briefly buries opponents if you connect with them all. His dash attack is a lunge, a jumping slide forward with his tennis racket out. Forward tilt is a basic tennis backswing, and up tilt is a quick high block. Meanwhile, down tilt is a sliding kick, like Mega Man or Cloud. He doesn't get as much distance, but his long legs give him plenty of range. It's a reference to the slide tackle from Super Mario Strikers. Waluigi's forward smash is a charged forward swing. Up smash is a charged flat, swinging the tennis racket in a wide arc above Waluigi that launches opponents diagonally upward and forward. And the down smash is a dancing splits kick. The appearance is a reference to Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. The neutral aerial takes the appearance of the jump shot from Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Likewise, the forward aerial takes the appearance of Waluigi's Ultra Smash, swinging the racket forward with two hands. The back aerial is a low block that strikes the area behind Waluigi, and the up aerial is Waluigi's jumping serve from Mario Power Tennis. Down aerial is the Drop Rocket, Waluigi's Super Strike from Mario Strikers. It's a diving stomp like Simon Belmont's that makes Waluigi bounce off opponents after connecting. This next section is brought to you by Adustus, featuring Moveset Miles. Waluigi uses a one-handed grab and pummels opponents by whacking them with the head of the tennis racket. Forward throw is a forward swing, back throw is a back swing, up throw is an underhanded serve, and for the down throw, Waluigi bounces the opponent into the ground like a tennis ball. Or, I suppose you could say he slams them down with his arm. That just leaves the recovery attacks for normal moves. Waluigi's forward floor is a forward swing followed by a back swing, and his back floor is a backwards block followed by an overhead smash while getting up. For his trip attack, he spins with his racket out, and for his edge attack, he does the sliding lunge from the original Mario Tennis game. It's a long range edge attack. Now it's time for the special moves. Waluigi's neutral special is called Serve. Waluigi tosses a tennis ball upward, which can knock opponents above Waluigi away. By pressing B again, Waluigi will strike the tennis ball, launching it forward. If the tennis ball hits the stage, it will bounce once, continuing the original direction of movement, but will disappear if it lands on the stage a second time without colliding into any characters. If the tennis ball hits an opponent, it will deal damage and a very tiny amount of knockback, then bounce back to Waluigi. This is where Waluigi's main gimmick comes into play. Any attack that uses Waluigi's tennis racket is able to continue the rally, meaning that after the initial serve, Waluigi could continuously bounce the same tennis ball back into opponents from anywhere using most of his tilts, smashes, aerials, and more. The more you're able to rally the same ball, the more powerful it gets. The general strategy with Waluigi is to keep your distance and rack up damage by volleying tennis balls, then finish opponents off by hitting them directly with a racket attack or kick. This is why so many of Waluigi's attacks use his tennis racket to play up this tennis-based fighting style. However, Waluigi can only have one tennis ball in play at a time. He can serve a new one if the old one disappears. All of Waluigi's other special moves also help return shots. His side special is the Zone Shot from Mario Tennis Aces. Here's how it works here. Waluigi creates an invisible field of range for the move, similar to Palutena's auto reticle. If Waluigi's tennis ball is within this field when using side special, Waluigi will lock onto it, spring jump towards it, and whack it forward. It's an easy way to return the ball when it would otherwise be impossible. If the tennis ball is out of range or there is no tennis ball, Waluigi simply spring jumps forward while swinging his tennis racket, making a move similar to Diddy Kong's flying kick. Waluigi's up and down specials are based on his traditional special moves that come from Mario Power Tennis. Up special is Swimming Return. Waluigi springs his arms and legs forward and back three times as if he were swimming and swims through the air. During this animation, you have free control of Waluigi's movement as if you were playing a top-down adventure game, and Waluigi covers a pretty long distance, making recovery pretty good. However, you cannot stop the movement early unless you grab the edge, and the movement itself is a bit slow. The arm thrusts count as tennis racket attacks and can also knock opponents away. This means down special is the Whirluigi. Here, it's a spinning attack that knocks opponents away as well as projectiles. Of course, it can also be used on the tennis ball. 
Waluigi's final smash is based on his special shot from Mario Tennis Aces, Showtime. Here, Waluigi strikes a pose and rapidly spins, making many tennis balls bounce out of himself. Then, he rapidly strikes the tennis balls, launching them forward and knocking opponents in their path away. This move is isolated from his other attacks. It's a powerful, standalone final smash that does not affect any tennis ball Waluigi may have in play, and the balls used during showtime do much more knockback than Waluigi's regular tennis balls. Now, there's still more to characters than just attacks. For Waluigi's on-screen appearance, Waluigi strikes a pose while emerging from a burst of rose petals, also a reference to Showtime from Mario Tennis Aces. Similarly, for his side taunt, Waluigi puts his tennis racket behind his back and offers a rose with his other hand. This has also become one of Waluigi's things in Mario games now. For up taunt, I went with his victory pose from Mario Tennis Aces, pointing upwards while proclaiming his own name. This taunt has a special property, Waluigi can walk around while performing it, which is a Mario Tennis reference all on its own. For down taunt, I went with the flex from Mario Kart. Waluigi exclaims aloud wow. while showing off his... muscles? One of the biggest requests for this series was to include the three victory animations as well, so I'll give it a go. Victory 1 is Waluigi's classic glowing evil eyes pose. Victory 2 is a moonwalk in pose, and for Victory 3, Waluigi shows off a giant gold tennis trophy. As previously mentioned, Outfit 1 is the Mario Tennis Aces outfit, but Waluigi's other outfits also change the color of his tennis ball, so that it's easier to not get your ball confused with other Waluigis you might fight against. Outfit 1 uses a green-yellow tennis ball. Waluigi's alternatives to this costume are a more standard white tennis outfit with a very fluorescent yellow ball, a blue tennis outfit with a light blue ball, and a Lucian-themed costume with a matching ball. Then, you have Waluigi's classic outfit with a dark purple ball, one based on Mario with a red ball, a Luigi-themed outfit with a dark green ball, and a Wario costume with a bright purple ball. The Kirby hat gives Kirby a tennis cap, once again matching the convention used in Wario's Kirby hat, but also referencing that the move Kirby gets from inhaling Waluigi is serve. And yes, Kirby is able to rally with his own pink tennis ball by pressing the B button to use serving strikes. To be honest, as long as the Super Smash Bros. series continues, I think Waluigi becoming playable is simply an inevitability. Like Pokemon, Mario is a flagship franchise of Nintendo, and its characters are the most recognizable of gaming as a whole. With Daisy now in the roster, I think Waluigi is easily one of the next in line, especially considering the fan demand behind him. With some of the bigger long-time requests out of the way, like Ridley and King K. Rule, I think it's Waluigi time. In fact, I'd go so far as to say Waluigi is the new Ridley of this generation. Think about it. Ridley's too big, he's already established as a boss, Sakurai said so. Waluigi's only a spin-off character, he'll always be an assist trophy, Sakurai hates him. These are all completely pointless arguments that simply boil down to, Waluigi just hasn't been added yet. I'm confident that someday, he will. It might not be in Smash Ultimate, but it'll happen someday. Thanks once again so much for watching. Special thanks to Chris and Miles of Adustus for help demonstrating Waluigi's attacks. Let me know what you think of the video and moveset or what you think of Waluigi and Smash in the comments below. See you next time for the next character.